Like a lot of people, I have a big fear of cockroaches. But have you ever thought about what happens in your brain when you see something that you're scared of that causes you to scream incessantly and then run away in the opposite direction? Let's get into it. So the nervous system is what controls everything in the body. Think of it as kind of like a CEO of a big company. This system is what causes your heart rate to spike and your knees to start bending and running in the other direction. It can be divided into two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system includes the spinal cord and the brain, and the peripheral nervous system is all the nerves that extend off of that. Nerve cells or neurons allow for the sensation and perception of external stimuli. This is what allows you to see a cockroach from 10 feet away or to also process things you're learning at school. The longest neuron in the human body stretches from the spinal cord all the way down to our toes. Neurons have three different structures, which can be classified by identifying the amount of processes that project from the cell body. Unipolar neurons have one process, while bipolar have two and multipolar have three or more. Other than structure, neurons can also be identified by function. Sensory neurons are unipolar neurons in the peripheral nervous system, and just as their name suggests, they sense external stimuli and send it towards the direction of the brain for processing. Motor neurons are multipolar neurons that are also in the peripheral nervous system, except they take signals from the brain and send them out towards the limbs. The final neuron, interneurons, are also multipolar but are in the central nervous system. These neurons are special because they take signals from the sensory neurons and relay them up to the brain and then back down into the motor neurons so the motor neurons can tell the muscles what to do. Signals transmitted between neurons are actually electrical impulses called action potentials. These signals travel from when one end of the cell, called the dendrite, through the cell body called a soma, down the axon, and out towards the exon terminals. There is literally electricity running through your body, but can you believe it gets even more interesting than this? As the electrical signal travels down the neuron, it does something super fascinating. It converts into a chemical signal called a neurotransmitter. There are sacs called vesicles in the axon terminals. These hold the neurotransmitters. The electrical impulse will change the charge of the axon terminal, which pushes out the vesicles and then releases the neurotransmitter. The neurotransmitters are now in this gap between the axon terminal of the neuron it just left and the dendrite of the neuron it's going to. This gap is called the synapse and is one one thousandth of the thickness of paper. Neurotransmitters are then received by receptors on the dendrite of the next neuron. It is then converted back into an electrical impulse and ready to go on to the next one. Understanding the nervous system has become more crucial as the United States population has aged. This means a rise in neurodegenerative diseases. Imagine all the lives we would save if neurology research is expanded on. Thank you for watching.